Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to learn about multicollinearity. So what is multicollinearity? Multicollinearity occurs when there is relationship between two or more explanatory variables that is when two or more explanatory variables are correlated. Look at this regression equation y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus mu. Here y is the dependent variable and x1 and x2 are the independent or the explanatory variables. In the regression model we estimate the relationship between or the effect of x1 on y and x2 on y. Now if there is any relationship between x1 and x2 or if x1 and x2 are correlated then it means that there is multicollinearity. Let me give you an example. Some researchers studied the factors that affect the blood pressure and they observed 20 individuals. So here the blood pressure is the dependent variable. The factors that affect the blood pressure such as age, weight of the individual, the individual's body surface area, the duration of hypertension, the basal pulse rate and the level of stress experienced by the individuals. So these were the independent variables. And this is the regression model. So now how do we detect the multicollinearity in this model? So we can do that by calculating the correlation coefficient for all the pairs of independent variables. We denote it as R. So the relationship between the explanatory variables x1 and x2 is denoted as R x1 x2. The correlation coefficient R ranges between minus 1 and plus 1. If it's close to minus 1 and plus 1 it means there is multicollinearity and if it's close to 0 it means that there is no multicollinearity or low multicollinearity. Now let's take a look at the correlation matrix. The correlation matrix shows the correlation coefficient for all pairs of independent variables. So the numbers in this box they show the relationship between the dependent variable BP and the independent variables age, weight, BSA and so on. Whereas the numbers in the next box they show the relationship between all the pairs of independent variables. Now let's take a look at the highlighted numbers. There seems to be a strong relationship between the dependent variable BP and the independent variable weight and also in the dependent variable BP and the independent variable BSA. There also exists a strong relationship between independent variables weight and BSA. Naturally when an individual's body surface area is high the weight tends to be high as well as weight is used to calculate the body surface area. So high correlation between these independent variables means that there is multicollinearity in the model. That's how we detect multicollinearity. That's it for today. I hope you all understood the concept of multicollinearity and how you can detect it. See you in the next video.